Okay, let's welcome back to the show California's uh, Republican Tom McClintock. He sits in the House Judiciary. It's so great to have you on, Congressman. Okay, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer telling reporters he had a, quote, long and serious talk with Democrat ranking member of Senate Judiciary, Senator Dianne Feinstein, after progressive groups blew up at Senator Feinstein for positive comments, saying she was impressed with Judge Amy Coney Barrett's acumen and for hugging Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. So Democrats are now bullying the ranking Democrat on Senate Judiciary. What's going on here? Well, Senator Feinstein's misfortune is she is a liberal in a party that's now dominated by leftists, and there's a huge difference. I've argued with people like Diane all these years over the appropriate role and size of government, but we've always shared fundamental beliefs. We believe in freedom of speech. We respect our institutions. We revere our Constitution. We rely on the civility of deliberation that she was practicing uh, that day. Uh, the left shares none of those beliefs. They censor free speech. They revile our Constitution, and they sneer at that kind of civil uh, exchange that, uh, that she gotten in her into such trouble. I think a lot of Democrats, maybe even Senator Dianne Feinstein, are starting to ask the questions that Reagan did when he became a Republican. He said, I didn't leave the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party left me. I, I think that liberals today share more fundamental beliefs with conservatives than they do with the radical left that's now dominating their party. That's interesting. You know, the Senate is expected to vote Monday to confirm Judge Barrett to the Supreme Court. Is there a push behind the scenes to get Senator Dianne Feinstein not to, if, it, let's say this is the scenario, the Democrats seize control of the Senate. Do Democrats not want Senator Dianne Feinstein to run Senate Judiciary? Do they want somebody else, maybe like a Sheldon Whitehouse or a Senator Blumenthal or Chris Coons or Amy Klobuchar to run it instead? Is that the game plan here behind the scenes by well, Chuck Schumer? Well, clearly their game plan, and this they, they made this very clear long before the death of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, is to uh, pack the Supreme Court with additional seats, pack the Senate with additional states, bypass the Electoral College, which cuts out the rural states from having any kind of uh, meaningful say in the selection of future presidents. And I think traditional liberals like Dianne Feinstein in the Senate are going to need to ask themselves, do they really want to be part of tearing the Constitution literally in shreds? And that could yield some very interesting answers uh, if it comes to that. Interesting. All right, Congressman McClintock, thank you so much. It is so good to see you. Thanks for your insights there. It's really important stuff. Come back thank soon. You, Liz. Thank you. Coming up, retired ICE acting director Tom Holman.